Okay, field comments on the Forma Adventure boot. Um, it is, uh, it feels great. That is uh, something that uh, cannot be overstated. When you put it on and you walk around it, it is so lightweight and uh, has such a, a nice amount of flex. And um, by the way, the sole, this is something I missed in the construction, the sole has a nice lugging pattern. It's a bonded sole, not a favorite, but uh, the result of the sole and uh, the flex in the forefoot means this boot feels more like a hiking shoe than any other piece of footwear that we have. And that's something that's really good. Yet, on the other hand, when you put it on, if you stand inside the boot and you try to roll your ankle, it's very, very difficult to do because the boot has a lot of support here. Um, it uh, feels a little bit clunky, and if you kind of look at some of the pictures, we'll show you some pictures, we'll blend them into the video. Uh, the toe box is pretty wide. It's also a little bit tall. It's not quite as trim as it can be. Um, in fact, we have a, a tester that has a pair of these out, and I called him just prior to filming this, and I asked for his comments. He's, he's the third guy that actually is using them, and he said, you know, they feel a little bit clunky, and I thought I would have to increase the height of my shift lever, but I didn't. And um, I think that that's probably a good, accurate summary of, of um, this point that I'm making, that it's a little bit thick through the toe area, it feels a little bit clunky, but there isn't really a consequence or penalty to that. It's just something that you perceive. Um, the use of the boot day in, day out, the waterproofness, um, how it feels, how comfortable it is, that's something that is um, where this thing really shines. You know, it's just so, so nice and lightweight and easy to use. Uh, has a good amount of protection and support in the ankle, yet it, you just almost forget that they are, they are there. Um, the waterproofness of this boot, also we're going to blend some photos in uh, right now. We had a person who was making some online comments, and as um, some people are, are want to do online, uh, that these boots aren't very waterproof. And so I, I took our test pair and I went out and I sunk them into a bucket of water, as you can see in these photos. I put a hammer in here as a weight and stuffed it down inside, and I stuffed some paper towels in it. And um, our, we normally do that test with boots, and we do it for 30 minutes. That's our, our, um, our normal test period. And I actually got a little bit busy and forgot about this pair, and I left them in there for, I think, 62 minutes. And uh, pulled everything out, opened up the boot, pulled the paper towels out, and it was completely, completely, completely dry. And so uh, I'd like to to put that question of waterproofness, uh, I'd like to speak to that question of waterproofness and, and, and comment that we did do a real live test. And you can see those photos if you want. And we'll also put them online. Uh, so um, in summary, this is now our favorite adventure touring and uh, dual sport boot. I'd say, I won't call it 50-50. This leans a little bit toward the um, toward the dirt side or toward the rugged terrain side. That's probably a more accurate description. I, I'll call this a 60-40 boot. But, um, and it's our favorite boot in, in that kind of middle of the road category. But the nice thing about it is it works really, really well off-road, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have a lot of consequence. It isn't very difficult to live with day in, day out. And uh, that's one of the things about Forma that we really like. They're, they're a little bit more uh, nimble, should I say, a little bit more clever with design. They're a little bit more innovative. And, and this boot, they really nailed it. You know, there's a lot of good product on the market, a lot of stuff that we have, other models that we have that we like. But uh, they've kind of they've kind of stepped the game forward just a little bit. And so, um, so we like this boot. It is uh, bomber recommended. Uh, it retails for $299.95. Comes in either brown, as you see here, or black. And in sizes 42, once again, to 49. Other sizes, uh, smaller sizes, excuse me, um, 41, 40, 39, 38, etc., are available from time to time off the shelf. Uh, from time to time, they're available at once. And, and they are available also from Italy via special order. And that's actually pretty easy to do. Form is really cooperative with it. So that's our review of the Forma Adventure Boot uh, for dual sport and adventure touring. We are Atomic Moto, www.atomic-moto.com, home of the bombers. Uh, we are mission focused on uh, getting the right gear to you and uh, for your type of riding, your type of motorcycle, even your region in some cases. We pride ourselves in being very hands-on with product, knowing and understanding it, using it in as many cases as we can, testing it out, and being able to gather that information and pass it on to you intelligently, either via our website, via uh, 
our videos or by email or phone if you so desire. Feel free to contact us anytime with your product questions. Thanks for tuning in.